Okay, welcome in. Happy Monday. Hope you have had a great, great, great weekend. And apologize for being late. I had to go to the Ingles and the Piggly Wiggly and the Target and all those stuff. So uh, into the gym. All right, so here we go. Look at this, y'all. We got no volume at all. 32, 39 on a two-minute chart. Look at that. That is nothing. And market's down 0.4%. Looks like we got us what we call a inside day, right? Because we are still within that 15 minute opening range. Look at there, we're right on the bottom of the opening 15 minute range. Very cool, right? So how, how big was that range? Let's see, it was from about 3,900, 39, 3931. Uh, VIX is 27 AD, negative 44. You know, nothing to see here, y'all. It's just nobody's really trading today. In the looks like we're at the low of the day. Well, no, I guess we're not on AD here. We'll tell it'll give us a little red thing, but AD is clearly going down. So we'll see if this will be some type of support. We'll also see if the overnight low from last night will be some type of support. But it looks like an inside day. So for those of you who do the zero DTE. SPX uh, Iron Condors, okay, good day for you. Not much going on. All right, so let's look at our volume profile, see what we look like, and let's see, yes. Volume profile. Hey, y'all talking behind me is kind of getting on my nerves. So let's see what we had here. This must have been Friday. We had a gap and run, right? We, we saw that gap and run, so that was look at more like a uh, like a, a uptrend day. And then today we just got this little inside day. So uh, just what we said right from the other day is we expect to go to the fifty percent line. Look at there, we opened on the fifty percent line. I guess this was on Friday, and then we uh, are now in the fair value zone. And wouldn't surprise us to tag the top. 39.66 and to continue to fill in these little things. And, you know, it, it, it was fairly priced. So really there's nothing to gain here. I mean, which which way is it going to go? Well, we really don't know. Go any of these ways. We have no idea. We always look at this little red line, which is where the most volume is traded over the last 10 days. And we know that that's a hot spot for action. You see, it has been so many times. And it would never uh, surprise us to go back there. But really, there's nothing to see here. Really nothing at all. The market's just doing what the market's doing. So very cool. Let's look at the linear regression. See if it shows us anything. Uh, linear regression. Doing what linear regressions do. You know, we go to the bottom. We go to the middle. Where are we going to go from here? Now, who knows? You know, we could easily go up or down, but we think that it will probably be constrained within the upper bound, lower bound of the linear regression channel as we continue this prolonged bear market. This is a daily chart. We expect things to continue to go down. Now, notice, again, I can't spotlight this enough. Notice big volume up day. I mean, big uh, uh, candle up, big move up in the market, lower volume. Up moving the volume, up, up moving the market, lower volume. Indecisive, a little higher volume, right? Low volume. Then look at the red days. See how much the red days, the volume is significantly higher than what we had on these last two days. So it looks like we're getting a little bit of, after two moves upward, we're getting a little bit of consolidation in this candle, right? Looks like one of those that people call dojis or whatever those things are. So who knows? It's just that we're, Fairly priced, and we're right in the middle of the linear regression channel. We could easily go up, could easily go down from here. Nothing to see. All right. So I had an epiphany overnight. Uh, no, over the weekend. It took me all weekend because you remember we, we had this big discussion on Friday, or maybe on Thursday, where we were like, man, do we even want to trade? the futures to neutralize our Delta. You remember, because we were just getting beat up on them. You remember that? And I was like, man, I down $2,000 on the futures. So I'll tell you what I did, which is probably the incorrect thing because I often 
times, make the worst move at the most inopportune time. But I closed all of my futures contracts uh, in the two accounts here. I just closed them, totally closed them. And I said to myself, I said, self, you are going to be perfectly fine with holding long deltas. Now, my little stick won't work for me to write, but I think I can. Let me type out some best practices here. Let's do some best practices. This is going to be good. And I almost wanted to chat with y'all about it over the weekend. And I was just like, I don't know. You know, I'm trying to give y'all some time off. I don't want to, I don't want to talk over the weekend about 111 and 112 portfolio management, do you? You probably do. You're a bunch of nerds. And so let's see if I can go here and do some little typing to give y'all an indication of best practices. Okay, so best practices, right? Of our 111 trade. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to, let me let Martin in the room. I got to get that fixed too. All right, so number one, number one, best practices, right? I'm trying to do a daily trade. I don't care what that trade is. One, 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 two, whatever you want to do. You want to short a put, right? Now, remember, I told y'all, though, I'm not going to do calls. I'm just not going to do calls. And we had an entire session where we explained why we were not going to do calls. Y'all remember that. So we're not going to do calls, right? I just don't want to do it. Now, come a month from now, I'll change my mind probably. But as of right now, here's where I'm standing, okay? So we want to do a daily trade. But I can't do a daily trade if, unless my BP blood pressure is too high, not BP for blood pressure, but fine power. Unless my buying power is too high, my theta is too high, or here's what I came up with over the weekend. Y'all gonna love this, ready? Or my deltas. Okay, so now I've got some ifs. So the best practice is this. Hey, Bob, I'm gonna try to put on a daily trade of the 111, 112, you know, short put, sell put, whatever. Unless my buying power is too high, unless my theta is too high, or my deltas are too high. And I'm gonna explain to you what, let me rip Rick in the room. I'll explain to you what I mean by my deltas being too high. Okay, but this is the new thing. If you're saying, Bob, what's the new thing? The new thing is my deltas being too high. Okay, so let's keep on. So here, here we go. I'm gonna do a daily trade, unless my brown pair too high. Da, 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 da. Now, if any of these conditions happen, what am I gonna do? Well, here's what I'll do. My, if any of the, if any of the above, new trade and try to close existing trades if, if, if I can close an existing trade. So we want to put on a daily trade. We want to close a trade daily. That's the plan. Put a trade on, take one off. Wax on, wax on. So let's go over here. Let's make, so uh, we want a daily trade and then we want to take one profitable trade off per day. So unless my buying power is too high, I'm putting on trade. Unless my theta is too high, I'm putting on trade. Unless my delta is too high, I'm putting on a trade. But if any of these above happens, no new trades, Bobby. Just sit to the sideline. Close existing trades when you can to get back in line. All right, and that's very, very simple, right? So this is our best practice. Yeah, I want to put one on every day. If I can, uh, if not, I can't, right? No new trade, closing these trades. And then the plan, overall plan is put one on, take one off. Wax on, wax off, unless blah, 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 blah. All right, and then I'm going to show you what that means because I've added a, a different little column to the spreadsheet that should help us. So now we've got best practices. Okay, so what else is our best practices? Let's see. Daily trade. Okay, so which one would I put on? Okay, which one would I put on? Let's draw an arrow. Daily trade. Right? All right. What's my daily trade going to be? If if the market is up, right? And so if the market is up, I would probably lean toward a 
a one, one, two. Now let's think about that because that way the market's up. So I'm gonna get that short put as far away from the money as possible. All right, so I probably do a one, one, two. If the market is down, I'm gonna to lean towards a one, one, one because the market's already made a move down. And on a down move, that's the most opportune time to sell puts. It's not an opportune time to sell puts when the market's up. Therefore, I'd rather give me some more room to the downside by, you know, leaning toward the one, one, two. It's just, just kind of leaning, right? That's what I'm leaning toward. Now, I really don't have major difference between the two, uh, one, 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 two. But if it's a good down day, I'd probably be more likely to do a one, one, one. Not saying I wouldn't do a one, one, two. And on an up day, I may do a one, one, one. Charles, probably I'm leaning toward the one, one, two. Now, let's also talk about something on the up day. If it is an up day, and that is not a great time to sell puts. So let's say that your ordinary position size in your account, like my IRA, my usual position size is what? Two tranches of the one, one, ones and one, one, two. But if the market is up, that's not an ideal time to sell puts. So, but if I am doing the process like I want to, put one on, take one off, I will reduce my trunch size, right? Or reduce my trunches. So if I normally do two, I would do one. Now, if the market is down, right? Lean toward a one, 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 and I would do my usual trunch size. Okay, so if you're normally doing two contracts of the one, 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 I probably do two. Cliff in. All right, isn't that cool though? I think we got a great little thing now. So, so now, let me tell you here, here's the three things that we're using. My buying power is too high, don't put on a trade. If my fate is too high, don't put on a trade. So, how do I know if my buying power is too high? Well, we know from our spreadsheet that based on that's based on VIX, right? Whether you're using upwards of 35 to 50% of your account depends on what the VIX value is. What is your theta? Theta is a percentage of, as a percentage of your total account balance, we want this to be between 0.1 and no higher than 1% of your account balance, right? Delta's too high. If your deltas are greater than 0.0015 times your net lick, then your deltas are too high. All right, so everybody got this before I, before I close this up and delete. Make sure everybody's got what. And again, I don't care what y'all do. Y'all do exactly what y'all want to do. This is just what, what old Bob's doing. I said, uh, what y'all saying in the chat? I thought it was opposite. Sell more naked puts on a down day. Okay, it's trader discretion. Yeah, on a down day, what did I say? If the market is down, you know, do your usual tranche size, right? You do, I do my two, so I'm doing more. Uh, I'm going to reduce my tranches as an upside. Now, uh, again, Ed, you could do that too, right? You could say, if it's a down day, maybe I'm going to increase my trunk size. I'll do one trunch here, and I'll do three trunches on the on the downside. So I do, you know, normally when I'm doing two, regardless, you could say, hey, let's split the baby. Let's only do one trunch on that up days. Let's do two trunches on down or three trunches on down days. Yeah, I certainly could do that. And again, everything that I'm going to do is going to be in relation to how's my buying power, how's my theta, and how's my delta. Okay. Now, how do I get my thing back here? Okay, there we go. Now, let me delete all this, close this. All right. Now, with that in mind, let's go to our account management so everybody can follow along. Right? Let's follow along as we do this. And I think it'll be, it'll be a little crystal clear because I want to show you that I've added a column out here. I'm not trying to complicate it. It just says maximum allowable positive deltas. So that I kind of know what my positive delta is going to be. Because let's let's talk. When we do a one 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 or a one one two on the put side, it's going to give you positive deltas. 
So I'm going to have to come to a some type of understanding where I go, okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fine with the positive bill if I'm not going to adjust my you know filling futures to adjust those. So at the same time, though, I want to go, you know, I don't want my deltas to be greater than 0.0015 times my account balance. So whatever your account balance is, times 0.0015, that's this number. Net lick times 0.0015 is your uh, maximum allowable deposit bill. All right, but let's go and let's do this so we can see how it works. So today is 627. 22, let me let Dwayne in. Oh, Dwayne was already in. Let's see what our balance is for the day. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Come on, little fella. So, positions. We are at 25,633. 25,633.61. So we're up, oh, I'm taking the wrong place. 25, 633.61. We're up $91 from Friday, so that's good. So now let's go and put our Greeks and ratios in. But I, I don't know, I spent a lot of time on this over the weekend saying, I think I like this. So let's see what we're doing. So, our deltas are 31.69. Make sure I'm on the right here. Yep, 31.59. Sorry, 31.59. Our theta is Our buying power usage is 11,836. No adjustment. Okay, so it says no adjustment. And then just for my own little thing, I just want to say, you know what, Bob? I just want to make sure that my, you know, deltas are not greater. And here I'm 3159, greater than 38. So I'm fine. Now, this is far as putting on new trades, right? If my deltas are too great, I don't want to put on a positive delta trade if it's greater than that. So this will keep me from having to worry about futures, I think, in order to get things balanced. So now I go, then my theta's fine. I want it to be 0.1% and less than 1%. I want this uh, buying power usage to be what? Well, it depends on the VIX. VIX is 27 so VIX between 20 and 30 is 35%. So what this tells me is in this particular count, I am unable to put on another trade today. I'm just unable to. Why? Because I'm using too much buying power based on the current volatility level. But that's fine because my theta's decay. Everything's fine. So what we will do is go in here and see, is there a trade that we could take off for profit? Right? Look at this, 94%, hello, lady. So we got all these winning trades now. So we got a 90 something, there's 90.38, here's 94. There's down six, up six. There's another one needs deleting. Uh, 58. I said there's another one that needs deleting. Crap. Crap. All right, here's a 58 uh, there, right? So the other thing that I would look at is in deciding which one to close, the 112.27 or the 112.25 is how many days to expiration do they have? 32, right? So the 27th is going to have 32 as well. So I'm really needing to close this little puppy here, right? the 112 bull second because I'm down to 18 days on it. But we'll give it another day or two. If I close it now, probably for a scratch uh, after commissions are paid. So we may let that run another day or two, but you just kind of start thinking about, hey, what about these that are, you know, getting down? I need to be taking these off at some point. 
So we'll give them another day or two, see if they can do this. So this is the winner. This is the one we're going to take off. The 11220 feet. So let's take this off. 11220 feet. It's kind of cool. That was a three trauncher, y'all. Look at us. We're trading big money now. And then we're going to get six of those 33 tens. Six of the 33 tens. Six of the 33 Let's go find them. Here we go. 33 tens. Dollar dip. That'd be great if we could get that filled. Let's go up to a dollar and a quarter. Make it less advantageous on you. We'll be paying more. Get a feel. And remember, we don't have a lot of liquidity today, but we did it out for a dollar and a quarter. All right, so here we go. Surprised we didn't have to work it a little more. So the 112 25th, we got out for a dollar and a quarter. One one two twenty-fifth, a dollar and a quarter. Oh, six twenty-seven. Y'all, just to update you too, I will be out of town next week. We will not have any sessions. We will be at the fabulous Myrtle Beach, where I will be showing off my bronze body to all the ladies and a few men, I'm sure, that will love to check me out while I'm at the beach. All right, so one one two twenty fifth, y'all. Look at that. We got one hundred and forty dollars. Daddy might go to the Brazilian Steakhouse, huh? With the gauchos for one hundred forty dollars. Now, the last time we went to the Brazilian Steakhouse in Myrtle Beach. It was like three hundred and something dollars. I'm like, what the hell? Get used to paying that at restaurant days. All right, so is this right? This don't seem right, y'all. I'm in the wrong. Am I in the right account? I can't believe I did three crimson account. How did I do? Why does it still say? Oh man, look, it took it out of somewhere else. Hold on one second. Three, three, and six. Dollar twenty-five, and we are in the right account, huh? Yep, that's it. Sweet Bobby spreadsheet there. Can't believe we made one hundred forty dollars when we're normally making. Why did we do three tranches? Hold on. Yeah, that's right. Look at there. We did three tranches. That is unusual. I, mean, I think that. Remember, I made that fat finger mistake or something. But thank God I did it. Right? I mean, we made one hundred forty dollars. We're going to the Brazilian. The uh, Gaucho Steakhouse, one forty ninety seven. That's right. Huh. Not used to making that in this account. It does. That's all we made last week. We already made it on Monday. Huh. I won't tell Beth. She'll be wanting to go to. She'll be wanting to go to Sally's Beauty Supply. One forty ninety seven. Look at us. Oh yeah. Hello. All right, there we go. Let's save that and close that. Now let's go to the other camp. Okay, here we go. So let's go to the other camp. See what we can do over here. Which one is Got to record all of our stuff here. All right. So let's find this one. Let's do our net lift in this one. IRA. This is IRA. And we love the IRA account, trade futures, because you can't tell it's not a regular margin. Account. So cool. If we're up a little money in this one. Oh, man. Get this account. How much money we got? Come on, baby. 99059, 99068 12. 99068 12. Woohoo. So we made 
$93.65 from Friday. Look at us. Our Creek Snowshoes. Good stuff. Huh? What's our deltas? Our deltas are 52.18. Oh, it's thundering outside. Glad I got inside. I got a pregnant goat, though, and I mean, she's about pop. I don't know how she ain't had them babies yet. 115.34. So we're okay, right? We're barely at the bottom. We should be 0.1 or higher. We're 0.12. That's good. Our buying power usage is. Uh, 26,300. And we're at 26% buying power. Our deltas are at 52. Our maximum deltas are 149. So this says I can put on a trade. 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 Is the market down or up? The market is down. So I could do a one 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 trade, right? Because the market's already down. I could do a one one two as well, um, you know, because I've got buying power to use. One one two uses a little bit more buying power than a one one one, but I think we're fine with a one 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 here. Let's do a one one one. Market's good and down. Uh, so let's go find us a one one one. Now, how many tranches? All right, so my regular size is two tranches. So I could either say, hey, you know what? It's down, I could do three tranches. And if the market's up, I could do one tranche. But I think I'm just gonna do two tranches. So let's do MES, let's do the table. Where do we go? Closest to 60 days without going over. Then we'll do a long, oh, let me make sure I show my, show my positions. Because if it doesn't, I'll overlap positions. I don't wanna do that, I'll buy where I'm, Sold something, don't want to do that. So long put vertical, 50 wide. I'm gonna move that down where we can buy it for about 20, I mean for $10. And so 36, 40, 35, 90. Let's make sure I don't have any positions there. Let's fill for 975. Yep, we got filled. So now we want to do a one, one, one. So I would sell something for ten dollars. So we'll go down way down here. Look at this. These things look like they're mispriced just a little bit. Just a quarter. Seven fifty. Not only would see this nine. That shouldn't be nine twenty-five. If that's ten. Hey, Bobby, don't you want to do it? A 20 credit here. Thanks. So. It's got dogs in the background too. You're right. I was I thinking about doing a one one uh one one two. So we want to do a 20 credit. Uh, you know, let me go back over here. It just looks like things are a little locked over here. Let me see if I can go over here. Where's my where's my one one two? 53 days. Let's see if I can find something that's better $20 over here. 19, 18, 10, 25. That, that's crazy. That's, that can't be right. So I'm just looking though. It's easier to see 18, 19, 20, 20, 25, 14. Look at this, y'all. This is crazy. But we figure it's going to be around that 10 delta somewhere, right? So what if we do this one? 33, 30. And we said we're just going to do a one, one, one. So let me go grab my strikes over here and see if we can get feel. That's the other side. Activity. We got field on the 3640, 35 minutes. 3640. 640. We're going to buy that one. Oh, it's lightning. Hallelujah. Big daddy, don't buy lightning. If I lose a connection, y'all. Y'all just know it is what it is. All right, so this one, one, one for twelve fifty. Let's see if we twelve seventy five credit. Let's see if we can get filled there. Yeah, Jack's quite crap. 
place, make it less advantageous. We'll go down to 1250. See how far we got to move this around. We'll get filled. Nothing there. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so that was a good, good, uh, good sale on that one. So we traded the thirty-three thirty. So I've got to go sell that one over here. Thirty-three thirty. Thirty-three thirty. There it is. Twenty twenty-five. Yep, that's good. But I hope y'all see what I was saying that, you know, you start looking at these things and you go, man, the prices look out of whack. So just make sure you kind of look at the strikes all around, and make sure you understand what's going on. So this is a one, one, one trade. So let us put it into our spreadsheet. Oh, 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 I need to do two tranches, don't I? Create a duplicate order. Well, fill the same thing so I don't mess with the prices. Oh, fill, 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 fill. There we go. So we've got two tranches in the irons. All right, so let's go and put it in. Here he is. We did two tranches. This is a one, one, one. So our last one, one, one was a one, one, one fourth. So we'll call this one a one, one, one fifth. And the strikes are now, if, again, if y'all want to delete column D because you don't want to type these strikes in, that's fine. I just like looking back at the end of the year or end of the month. I like looking back, seeing what I did. 3640, 3590, 3330. We're all on the put side. This is a 111 at 53 days. And then here on 627.22. And we got filled for twelve fifty. So we brought in one hundred sixteen dollars and eighteen cents on the trade. So let's go put him in his group one 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 fit. Oops. Put down at the bottom and unallocated should be the one we just put on. It is all that one 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 fifth. One 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 fifth. All right. So let's just do a rehash of what I'm going to do for me. Y'all do you. I do not want to influence you whatsoever. You do what you want to do. But after careful thought and deliberation over the weekend, here's what I come up with. Hey, Bob, use this to make sure that if you're going to keep putting on trades, right? if my theta were greater than 1%, I would not put on a new trade. Okay? I just would not. If my buying power usage was greater than whatever the buying power should be at current VIX, which is 35%, I would not put on the trade. And if, uh, if these two combined give you the same answer, right? If it said I needed a delta adjustment here, I would not put on a new trade. Okay, so that's that's the new, the new part is this. If it says I need a delta, I'm just not gonna put on a new trade at all because I'm too long. All right, I'm too long, and by putting on another one, 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 or one, one, two would make me too long again. So everybody with me on that. I said, now let's go and close something. So we got nine. Hello, ladies. And two ninety six fifty nine sixty one fifty five thirty nine. Look at all this, y'all. I mean, it's Nirvana. It's 32 days. Let's take it off. Let's take off this one. 38% winner. Take our money and go to the house. Create a closing order. And then we got to go grab six of the 3280s. Six of the 3280s. 
six dollars. Look at us making all this money today, huh? Go later. I got six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. So twenty-five cent debit. That'd be great. Come on, fill me. Fill me. So we're gonna make that less advantageous. Let's pay fifty cents. Fill me. I feel it happening. I feel it. Something's happening. Maybe that's the light coming through my headphones. And I, if, if it lightning's big, y'all will hear me scream. I don't know. I have no reservations about showing how scared I am of lightning. There we go. 75 cents, baby. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, here was. So we went for 50 cents. Now, 75 cents, uh, 75 cents, and we closed the 111, what was it, 20, was it 25th? 125th. 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 No, one 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 twenty six. I don't know. Let me get this. Let me get this. We did the thirty eight forty, thirty seven ninety, thirty two fifty. Thirty eight forty. I'm gonna get the last spreadsheet off. Thirty eight forty, thirty seven ninety, thirty eight twenty. Thirty three twenty. Getting all nervous because my that's yeah, one twenty six one one two twenty six and that should have been the thirty two eighty. There we go. Thirty two eighty. Here we go. Thirty two. And we got out of this for seventy five cent debit. So it cost us twenty eight eighty nine. We took in a credit the one eighty one eleven. So we brought in, uh-oh, Big Daddy's going to get to go to the Red Lobster, $152.22. Look at us. All right. Y'all got any comments on my new little, you know, what I'm thinking? Y'all like it? Y'all don't like it? Y'all got any feedback? Bobby, that's crazy. I think it's a good idea, Bobby. Yeah, and that's the best thing I think. I mean, otherwise, I'm going to have to dabble with futures. And, and you know, the painful bit of the futures, we know what happens when the uh, market goes against us. It hurts. And so this way, I'll go, you know what? I don't want to deal with futures. I'm just going to say, you know, if, if, if my deltas are out of whack, I'm not even going to try to neutralize them. I'm just going to quit trading for a while. That's what I'm going to do. So if y'all think of a, a better way to do it, I mean, I, I, that's just what came to me over the weekend. Y'all know we always trading things up and missing things around, but, you know, probably before this week is over, I wish I'd had those short futures on. You know, it's a two-edged sword. So, I mean, if they're, they're working, they're great. If they don't, they really, really hurt. So this way, let's just let, – and the reason is the trade that we're putting on, y'all, I mean, let's, let's – has a – a 111 has a 98% probability of winning, right? On our, our back test. Now, that's in a bull market, you know, but I still think with the increased volatility, the increased fix, that still selling on the put side makes a lot of sense because we can get uh, farther, farther away. All right, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go because my dogs are going crazy with the storm in the background. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Hey, uh, can you stick around for a second? Yes, I can.